And as the news go continue, the task force committee for COVID-19 for inside Imo State that all interferes uh, with the leadership of National Union of Road Transport work for Imo State chapter and the 27 transition committee chair more for the local government area of Imo State and for the need to take a strengthened border closure so that it then go fit contain the spread of coronavirus pandemic for the state. And when in the year and during the interact with the leadership and stakeholders, the chair more of the task force, Professor Maurice Iwu, he and the association and chairman to the corporate uh, to cooperate with the government efforts for the closure of border so that then go fit achieve the results against the pandemic. Iwu, he charged the Task Force Committee Chair Mo and uh, say make them summer the order of the government of Imo State for prevention of COVID-19 for all the various uh, local governments for the state. The road transport workers, because this uh, pandemic, this virus cannot move, cannot walk, cannot go anywhere without the help of human beings. And one group that are responsible for transportation is actually the road transport workers. So just transport human beings and don't transport any virus. So that's why it is important that we work with you. It is also important that we work with the, with the association because after this uh, COVID-19, there will be life after COVID-19. And we just don't on us because of how people are coming to our state that our state is actually an intersection. Today, Imo State is one of the states that are more safer. Also, I want to use the opportunity to thank the, the task force for the wonderful job they have been doing. Last time we were called and we were sensitized. And after the sensitization, we took it down to the grassroots. We even promised, uh, we even promised them our support in case if some drivers go contrary to the, the, the rules, they can be disciplined. And uh, I want to tell you that today, our drivers are, are observing all those rules. And uh, we will relent. We will continue to sensitize them. We will continue to make sure that uh, all the instruction given from carrying social number of people, uh, nose mask, and uh, even the ones, the interstate uh, commuters, which we said they should stop operating. We will continue to observe this to help the government and help the task force. And the same way the Tax Force Committee, the Steel Summer Face Marks of the 27 Local Government Transition Committee Chair Mo of Imo State to share to the different local governments so that they fit contain the spread of the virus among the people and where they live for inside the villages for inside the state. Yes, we have uh, an interactive session with our state committee chairman, Task Force on COVID-19, Professor Morris Yu. He has uh, briefed us uh, on the status of the, um, uh, the battle against coronavirus in Imo State. And we have listened to him. He has given us some charges that were taken down to our local governments to ensure that we maintain the status of almost zero uh, position of uh, coronavirus in Imo State. Uh, those of us living at the boundary area, like I said, I'm from Oru West, uh, the entry point from most of the endemic areas like Lagos, Ogun State, Abuja. We are trying to make sure that um, we combat the pandemic right down there in Old West. And um, we've come here today, we've carried some uh, materials, particularly the face marks. We are going to make sure that uh, most of the people around that locality is given this face mask because I think, like we normally hear people say, don't touch the mouth, don't touch the eyes, don't touch the nose. So the face mask is very, very essential in this battle. We use it to make sure that uh, we prevent the, the, uh, the contamination of our body through that um, because of the COVID-19.